Today, we're going to walk through AI-generated runbooks and how it significantly speeds up the authoring of new automation. Here in Runbook Automation, the traditional mode for creating a new automated runbook is by clicking on New Job and using the classical workflow editor to build the desired workflow. With AI-generated runbooks, we are now presented with a new way to create jobs using natural language prompts. By simply typing in the task that we wish to automate, we can click Generate Job, and this will leverage generative AI to produce a baseline job. Down below, we can see a list of example prompts to help us better understand the types of use cases for runbook automation. And these examples are grouped into categories. I can click on one of these examples to populate the prompt field, and then I can amend it to be for my specific use case. So let's click on databases and get the most resource consuming queries from a Postgres database. And then let's add and post a note to a ServiceNow incident ticket. And then we'll click generate job. I'm then presented with a preview of this job, and I can see that the AI has populated the job metadata, such as name and description, and it has populated the job steps as well, choosing the job step type that makes sense for this part of the process. For example, we can see that the AI chose the SQL run step, job step type for talking to the database, and the HTTP request step type for talking to ServiceNow. If this job step if this job template is sufficient for my needs, I can then click Continue to Job Editor. And this takes me to the classical job editor where I can see what parts of this job definition have been pre-populated by the AI. I can see that the input options have been created and that the AI knew to use key storage for credentials rather than asking the user to submit those themselves. Having these parts of the job definition save me time not only for learning the Rumbug Automation product, but also for identifying which job steps need to be included in my workflow, or looking up documentation for these other tools and configuring components like job options. If need be, I can make changes to this job definition, but once I'm happy with it, I can click Create. And here I can see the self-service automation runbook for this workflow and that can be invoked here in the GUI or by other tools through webhooks or APIs. Using generated runbooks through AI ultimately reduces the time and expertise needed to build new automation, thereby allowing more people to start building and automating more use cases throughout the organization. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.